Quarta is a student-led fintech startup leveraging technology to bring banking and financial literacy to the rural Philippines. Clarence Neva, a student from Bicol University, is the CEO and co-founder of Quarta. Rena Nario, also a student from Bicol University, is the lead tech of Quarta. Hello, Clarence and Rena. Thank you so much for spending some time with us dito sa Startup Podcast. Hi, Jenny. It's also our pleasure to be here because it's an equal opportunity for us to share what we're doing here in Quarta. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, start na tayo agad. So, ano ang Quarta? Basically, kulit ko lang, Quarta is a student-led fintech startup bringing banking and financial literacy to the rural Philippines. Let's start with the word fintech. The use of technology to improve financial services and how they are delivered. In Quarta's case, we aim to make better the traditional way of lending in which people would have to go to a physical bank or a financial service center, submit a lot of requirements, and fill out a lot of forms. Imagine mo yun. May cases talagang kailangan ng kailangan mo na ng pera. You are confident naman na you can repay the loan back and you still have to go through that process. Looking at numbers, the World Bank estimates that more than 1.7 billion individuals around the world have no access to formal banking institutions. Here in the Philippines, 69% or almost 50 million adult Filipinos are unbanked. And on the financial literacy side naman, one survey claimed that only 25% of Filipino adults are financially literate. That is far lower than the global average of 33%. Look at that, guys. And we saw these problems two years ago. That is why I, Clarence Jananyeva, a 19-year-old freshman engineering student back then, became really passionate about creating a tech solution that could bring banking and financial literacy to the rural Philippines. You know what I did? Using the 16,000 pesos that I saved through high school, grit and a thirst to make a difference, I started single-handedly giving out small loans to people in our village. Ayon, it started with one client, became three, until rumami ng rumami yung mga taong nag-inquire and nag-avail ng service namin. It felt as if everything was doing great kasi nga we were in demand until there came a challenge. Mataas yung demand for credit so it could no longer be matched by our available funding. Hindi sapat yung pera namin or yung available capital. So you know what I did? I called a few of my friends and asked them, are you guys willing to invest in me? <laughs> and guess what? They did. <laughs> so yun, may nag-invest sa atin ng 5K, 10K, mga gano'n wow. na amount. And imagine the trust that these people had in me. For a middle-class student like me, malaking pera na yun, di ba? 5K or 15K. And that money is their personal savings. Nakaka-pressure. I know I had to do better kasi it's not just my money that at stake, other people's hard-earned money rent. So I started educating myself by reading books on banking, business, and finance. And I really enjoyed it. Parang mas marami pa nga akong nabasang finance book kaysa sa engineering books <laughs> na yung college. Lol. The learning process was so fun for me that from being a nerdy student achiever in high school, A College of Engineering Dean's Lister, I decided to take the path towards becoming a full-time student entrepreneur. Sabi ko, that time, this is something that I really want to pursue. And the business was equally performing well naman. My parents and friends are supportive, so I was really motivated. Roughly two years later, I wanted to step up the game and got myself a great team. And we founded Quarta. My team and I are now working to bring our services available to anyone. That is through the Quarta app that we are making. Yun, Johnny, basically, in the background and the story right. behind Quarta. Yeah, thank you so much for that pitch and that story. <laughs> so, so, actually, I also saw nga, nung palang nag-start ang Quarta, ang name niya ay Clarence Bank. Is that ah, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. And pick this own ko na yun kasi parang ang selfish naman ko datawagin ko siyang mm-hmm. Clarence Bank, di ba? So, <laughs> And then naging New Bank. Is that right? Yes po. And, And then new. now, Quarta. Quarta. Yeah, okay. So I also want to ask, anong difference like bring financial literacy to the rural Philippines? Like ano ba talaga yung makukuha nalang benefit pag nag-bank nga sila sa iyo or sa Quarta now? 
let's answer that question by first defining what is financial literacy. Okay. Oh, for me, financial literacy is the understanding of how money works and how saving, budgeting, and other financial practices must be done. Dito na pumapasok yung attitude natin towards money. Kapag may napupunta sa yung pera, what do you do with it? Do you immediately spend it on things? Do you save it? Or do you use it to buy investments that could bring you more money? So ayun, what's the good in what we're doing? Here in Quarta, we want to incorporate financial literacy to the app and ultimately bring banking and financial literacy to the rural Philippines. Why? We know that hindi sapat na we just give people the money, right? We still have to be able to teach them how they can effectively and productively use the money that we loan to them. You know, money is just really a tool and we're giving this tool to them. It can be used to bring a kid to school or build a business or pay for a medication of a loved one, things like that. And some might claim na money is the root of all evil. Pero kaya siguro wala silang pera kasi they think that way. Another, some might also say na lending is a work of evil, but it's really not. <laughs> you know, one time, Johnny, I asked my mentor if okay lang ba yung pagkutang ng Pilipinas para may pangtostos during the pandemic. And he said to me, imagine you have a son and he will be the future president of the Philippines. Mas okay ng ano, mangutang ka, pambili ng gamot para sa kanya. Kasi in the future, worth it naman yun. And in the future, it will be more productive and beneficial for us to have a president rather than let him die and not ask a loan out money, right? Yes. So basically, you're also advocating yung wise spending ng money and basically yung capability ng mga tao na maka-access sa iba't ibang bagay nga. Yes. Okay. Kasi loaning is not really a bad thing. It's neutral and it can be good or bad depending on how you use it, right? So, you can take out loan to build a business and you'll be better off economically. Yeah, that's just true. Just like what I've said, you can pay your child's tuition fees and what if in the future they will be, you know, doctors although stereotyping left alone. It's a good investment to loan out money right now yeah, so okay. that you can finance. You can have a better future for them, right? Yeah, that's interesting. So, can we know more about yung product or like yung app where the rural Philippines or other people can bank in Quarta? So, can you share about the app, about their product? Paano ba siya nag-work? And paano ba siya dinesign so that it's accessible for other people? Sure, Jan. Here's Rena, our lead tech in Team Quarta. Hi, Rena. Hello, Bob. Hi, I am Rina Onario from Inobatan, and I am a computer science student in Biko University. So I am actually the lead tech for the making of the product of Quarta. So how does it look now? So we actually made our UI already. It has designs to finally be attractive to the Filipino people. And also the app is an Android app because we all know that the Filipinos are into smartphones right now and most of us can afford Android. So the app is actually an Android application. People can access it anywhere and anytime using internet. Basically, a user can just enter through the app and file out the form so that they can be approved by Quarta. It actually comprises articles where people can just scroll down and read to educate themselves financially. And there's a lot of articles that pertains to financial literacy. <laughs> yes. Okay, so interesting. So basically, may mga ibang tao nagagamit ng no app and they can loan there and they can also read materials there on maybe how they can spend wisely or how they can invest more. Is that right? Yes, but and also they can actually post and look for other connections to people. We have this one feature where you can talk to one of our staffs mm. to know more about what is Quarta or how much they can lend and what flexible time for them to pay. And it's really easy and accessible for people because we all know right now that there's other platforms that requires a lot of processing and other information and mm. data for you to go. But in Quarta, you just have to fill out the form and then our staff will verify it if you would be lended the money. 
Okay, so basically, bank nga talaga kayo and you make it more accessible and friendly din for other people. Yes. Kung tama yung pagkain nyo, meron din parang social aspect na they can connect with others and they can connect with you and your bank. Yes po. Okay, see, that's interesting. So let's go naman to some of the achievements na na-achieve ni Quarta kasi I saw Quarta mm-hmm. has been winning quite a number of competitions. I saw that Quarta won the Financial Literacy Innovation Challenge by Field Dev Foundation and also the National Synergy Competition nitong 2021. And I also saw na you've been given Quarta by the government in Bicol. So question ko maybe for Clarence is bakit nga ba kayo sumasalin ng competitions na to? And maybe, can you share us some secret? Paano kayo nananalo? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's an interesting question, Lulian. What pushes us to join these competitions? First, it really offers a lot of perks. I have four. First is that we get to access mentors and we get to expand our network. An example for this is we got to be mentored by Mike Singh, the former CEO of Credit Asia, also a lending app. Hmm. And we definitely get to learn a lot of things from them. And oftentimes, competition would conduct learning sessions rin. First, before the proper pitch competition. So, meron talagang matututunan. We learn about team management, startup financing, stuff like that. Second one is publicity. A venture, no matter how good it is, if nobody knows about it, it will definitely fail. Kasi, who will be there to create traction, right? Who would be there to create the demand? So, ayun, one of the perks is publicity. And third... As a leader, I know it's my job to keep the team's morale high and keep them competitive. <laughs> and winning competitions like this definitely does the job, among other ways. When Team Quarta's morale is high, I feel like they're building up their confidence as well as we share the same glorious feeling we get from winning. Bonus na lang na may mga prizes and may pangkain kami. Mm. It warms my heart whenever I see them happy and busog. <laughs> Interesting, ang galing. So you're really a leader. And lastly, Jan, it's for the fun of it. Masaya lang talaga. Makikita mo yan from cheek to cheek ang smiles namin yan whenever we win competitions. So, saya lang. Maybe share lang some secret. How are you keeping on winning these competitions? Oh, that's a secret. But let me tell you, the secret is that I have a great team with me. Like, yun lang talaga. That's the secret sauce. Amazing. It's not just me alone. I have a great team with me and we're working on this together. Yeah, and lagi kong nakikita yung team nyo sa social media, sa Facebook page <laughs> ng Quarta. I really, na kami. <laughs> I really like it kasi you also spotlight your team. Yes po, kasi it's not just me alone. Kaya nga, tinanggal ko yung name na Clarence Bank and then we mm. made it Quarta kasi we are a team. Amazing, amazing. And it's really your mission and it's really what you're doing, like keeping the team together. Yes. Sama-sama kayo into Quarta's achievements. Yes. So, another thing na napansin ko nga sa Facebook page ng Quarta is sobrang funny ng mga Facebook posts. <laughs> like, ito. So, I saw nga this quote. One night, I pray to God, Lord, help me become a trophy wife. <laughs> He misheard it and gave us trophies instead. I really think it's very funny. And then si Clarence pa yung nandun sa picture ng post na yun. <laughs> Question ko nga is, sige, ulit, bakit ito yung culture ninyo? I mean, why do you try to become very like quirky and very chill lang, kumbaga? And mm-hmm. can you share ano ba yung culture and yung leadership roles mo sa Quarta? Okay. If you are going to check the Facebook page, yes, indeed, medyo funny nga kami. <laughs> and very ano, happy-go-lucky people. So, is this culture intentional? I think Yes. And we got two reasons for this. The first one is that we just want to be authentic. Quite the people are fun to be with. We cast random jokes during team meetings. And that's what we really are. And people like it. So why not, right? We just want to be authentic. Second reason is that we don't want people to get intimidated. Admit it or not, people can sometimes get scared of banks. And that's the reason why they never really sign up for an account in them. And became unbanked their whole lives. Some think that banks are complex and unwelcoming. And we want to change that. Quarta app will be designed to be simple, straightforward, and user-friendly. And just your friendly neighborhood na makakatukan mo whenever you need utang. 
Galing, ang galing. Okay, so that's how you really bring banking to the rural Philippines. Being a friend, being welcoming. Yes, po siya. Okay, that's interesting. So can we go naman, like you are student startup founder. So this question is both for Clarence and for Reina then. And actually, sige, so let's say we're more than three dito sa Zoom meeting na to. So andito Ooh. actually yung some other team members din na nice, part. Nice, yeah. Supportive yeah. we are in. Hi, yes. I really like it na you're a, as a team nga. Pero I want to ask, how do you balance schoolwork and yung startup work? Meron bang, I mean, terms of priorities? Okay, I balance it by, you know, this may be a cliche, but it's true that you have to just work smart and focus on things that matter. You know, ngayon, we have outputs here in, uh, as a civil engineering student. May mga outputs kami na really need ng a lot of a long computations. And secret ko lang to, ah, but I do automation and stuff <laughs> in Excel that does the work easily. So, ayun, we just work smart just to have more time for other stuff and to balance it overall. Interesting. How about Reina? I have schedules for everything. Mm. So I just wake up at 7 and do my schoolwork. Yung nakalimutan uh, ko gawin the other day, gagawin ko ng umaga, then magla-lunch, then whole afternoon, sige-sige talaga yung gawa ko ng schoolworks namin. Basically, ngayon, may pinapagawa sa amin na website. So, we have to do all of that in just a month. Ineschedule ko lang talaga yung lahat. Hmm. Ang question din bilang your student startup founder, so bakit nga ba talaga kayo nagka-interest na gumawa ng startup bilang students? I mean, usually kasi startup founders, I mean, it's not bad naman that you started as a student. Pero I'm really just curious, being a student, what really pushed you to start your startup? Hmm, wait, that's... <laughs> I didn't expect that. Uh, <laughs> Or maybe, Clarence, you can share like yung pinaka-pinanggalingan. Kasi I also saw yung story nga na parang you invested in crypto when mm-hmm. in the first place you didn't know anything about crypto. So maybe can you tell more of the real story? Like, ano ba talaga yung nag-motivate sa'yo to build even more this startup? Okay. So let's start with how I was when I was a kid. You know, even as a kid, I've always been an entrepreneurial one. I remember selling Jollibee toys to my classmates. Yung ano, yung sa Kiddy Meal ba? <laughs> so, kakunin mo ng libre, oh. bibenta mo? <laughs> Oo, kasi si mama, binibigyan akong toys. At, <laughs> okay. uh, ibibenta ko na lang for the money. <laughs> And now I realize that that's stupid kasi parang mas mababa yung price niya kaysa sa actual price na binili ni mama yun eh. Also, in grade 12, we started a uh, sari-sari store sa room namin. Na nagtinda-tinda kami doon. I just really enjoy doing business. So, ayun, growing up, I also got to know the story of Gokong Wei, Bill Gates, and Steve Jobs. And I got really inspired because they built something from scratch. And that's really something that I want to do myself. And I told myself that I want to be like them. I want to create something of my own. And good thing na lang, I have my team with me right now and we're doing it together. Question ko din kay Rena. Why did you join Quarta? <laughs> Paano ka na-charm ni Clarence? <laughs> Lord, am I being persuasive ba? <laughs> it just started with like, I saw their Facebook. Mm-hmm. That time, it was just New Bank and they were looking for programmers mm-hmm. to create the possible app. And then I just asked, what type of programming language do you use? <laughs> and then I got into the GC and then now just been appointed as the lead tech for the app development because Miss Clarence actually saw something in me. Wow. And that I'm a great leader for the <laughs> programming team. So now I'm the lead tech. Yes, the potential, really? Ren. I can see it in you. Yeah, speaking of it, so can you share, Clarence, about the other team members in Quarta? So who are the other team members? Can you just hmm. introduce them? Okay, the first one that I teamed up with is Ivan Palencia. Second year education student, and he is the vice president in doing, you know, for planning and development and arranging stuff for us, really. In the future, he might focus on the financial literacy side of our mission in Quarta. And I have also Ian, which is a bio student, and JV. I have James Benedict in the tech team, and of course, Rena. We're just college students with individual capabilities and talents. And lahat ba kayo ay nasa Bicol? 
mostly is from Bicol University, hmm. but the other one is schooling in Filska. But ah. he's a Bicolano. Okay. I think that's very interesting na lahat kayo Bicol kasi you're one of the few na interview ko dito sa podcast na not from Metro Manila. So I'm very happy to have you here. I'm very <laughs> happy you, to have a Bicol startup here. And I saw nga na the Bicol government LGU is really happy to have you guys. <laughs> oh, nakaka ano lang, nakaka-touch rin nga kasi last time they gave us a prize reward of 15,000 pesos just for winning the National Synergy Competition and wow, that's really motivating. Thank you po. Ang gagaling niyo. <laughs> that's really big. So speaking of that, ano naman kaya yung mga next moves na gagawin ni Quarta or maybe can you share ano ba yung vision ni Quarta or maybe paano niyo gagamitin yung pera na nakuha niyo nga? Sure, sure. Let's start with my vision of Quarta. Um, I envision Quarta being a real performing business in the future. Hindi na siya startup. It's a really established one. And ang saya lang talaga, di ba, naisipin na in the future we will have our own office. We will be serving a hell a lot of more people. And our goal is to finish the app by August next year. Mm-hmm. Partner with local banks for additional funding. And with our mentor, Mike Singa, the former CEO of Asia Credit, we will get Quarta registered in the SEC, maybe sell some stake at the company so that by December next year, we can already start deploying the app, grant new loans, reach new underserved communities, all with the goal of serving more people. <laughs> And by the way, so we'll reach the talaga yung rural areas. Ano yung nakikita yung gagamit? Sino ba yung gagamit ng Quarta in the future? Okay, this is the common Filipino person who's tired of the traditional way of getting loans. And this is the Filipino who aspires to have a partner in his life where he can just simply tap whenever he wants financial assistance or he wants extra money. We will be your friend of the common Filipino. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Because... We have to admit na totoo yung sinabi nyo na hindi ganun ka-friendly sometimes yung ibang banks sa ibang mga yes. Pilipino. Let's end this conversation. So maybe if people want to know more about Quarta, maybe they want to invest or they want to okay. partner up with you. So how can they find you or how can yeah, they connect sure, with you? Sure, sure. Johnny, we're in Facebook. We have this Facebook page. Just search for us, Quarta, Quartip.ph. You can add me on Facebook or add us. I'm Clarence Jananyaba, your friendly CEO at 21. And just email at our teamquarta at gmail.com. If you have offers, we can look into it. Thank you, Johnny, for this conversation. And it's really a pleasure to be here. And we look forward to conduct more sessions with you in the future. Kasi parang masaya pala talaga mag-podcast. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Quarta. Thank you, Clarence. Thank you, Rena. Thank you for sharing about Quarta, about your life as student startup founders, and especially about bringing financial literacy to the rural Philippines. I'm really happy to have you friends dito sa podcast. So, thank you. Yes, you're welcome as well, Jenny.